Welcome. In this video, let's explore the developer experience of using Tanzu application platform and Tanzu Dev Tools extension for VS Code to build and deploy cloud native applications on Kubernetes. The tab and the Tanzu Dev Tools extension together enable the developers to quickly turn their source code into a container and get a URL to test their application in minutes. To understand what this means, let's try to deploy an application as a workload in TAP and then use the live update feature of VS Code Tanzu extension, which enables live update of the application while running on the cluster and also allows you to debug the application directly on the cluster. Let's see how to set up Tanzu extension for VS Code. I have a Kubernetes cluster with TAP Lite profile installed. I also have Tilt installed. Tilt is a tool which watches the files for changes, builds, and deploys code to running containers. Now, to install the Tanzu extension, download the extension from Tanzu network, open VS Code, and from the command palette, select extensions installed from VSIX. Select the downloaded file, and then click on install. This will install all the required dependencies, and once the installation is complete, you can restart your VS Code. Now, let's go and configure the extension for VS Code. But before doing that, ensure that you're targeting the correct cluster. And then go to Preferences, Settings, and under Extensions, you'll now be able to see the Tanzu extension. Let's go and configure some parameters here. Firstly, the source image. This is a mandatory field. This is the destination for an image containing source code to be published. You can also set the local path, the path on the local file system to a directory of source code to build. It defaults to the current directory. You can also set the namespace that the workloads will be deployed to. With this, we have the extension installed and set up. Now, let's try to deploy an application as workload. In order to achieve this, make sure you have set up the developer namespace to use the installed packages from tab. This is required to create a workload. Let's take a look at the application we have here. This is a Spring Boot application created using App Accelerator. And when you create an app using App Accelerator, it will come with the below three files. One, the config catalog info.yaml. This uh, file enables the workloads created with this project to be visible in the tab GUI. We'll be using this label while creating the workloads to ensure that the workload is uh, seen in the tab GUI. We also have this tilt file this file provides configuration for Tilt to enable your project to live update on the Tanzu application platform. And finally, we have this workload.yaml file. This file provides instructions to the supply chain uh, choreographer for how, to, how a workload should be built and managed. You can also create this workload.yaml file manually by using the Tanzu CLI. For that, you have to run this command, Tanzu apps workload create, the name for your workload, and the git URL to your project repo. This will create a sample workload.yaml file like here. You can see the label here. This is the same label we configured in the cat catalog uh, info.yaml to ensure that the workloads are visible in the tab GUI. We also have the git URL specified here. Now, let's go and create the workload. For this, let's run the Tanzu command, the Tanzu apps workload create, and the name for your workload you can provide the Git URL to project repo, the Git branch, and also the label to create the workload using this CLI command. This will create the workload. Now, to watch the workload related logs, you can use another command called Tanzu apps workload tail and the name of your workload. This will stream the logs for the workload. You can see that when the workload is being built and deployed, it goes through different phases like uh, analyze, restore, build, prepare, detect. It can take one to two minutes for it to get deployed completely. Let's wait for the workload to get deployed. Our workload is deployed and our application is started. To verify this, we can run another command that is workload tanzu workload k 
get and the workload name. This will, this will show the state of our workload. We see that our workload is ready. So our workload has been successfully deployed in our cluster. Now, to start the live update on this workload, let's go to the command palette. Since we have installed the Tanzu extension, we can now see the Tanzu live update start here. Let's click on this. You can see that a view or you can see the view output from the Tanzu application platform and from Tilt uh, indicating that the container is being built and deployed. You can also see this live update starting in the status bar at the bottom. The live update can take one to three minutes um, while the workload deploys and the Knative service becomes available. Meanwhile, uh, let's just, just go and take a look at the tilt file here. So each time you make a change or you save a configuration, the tilt will re-execute it. The file here contains configurations for like the source image, the path to the local source code, and also the namespace in which the workload is deployed. It also has instructions uh, on how to deploy the workload to the Kubernetes here. And this line here uh, does a port forward of the workload Knative service URL so that you can test your application locally. And finally, the line here uh, is used to specify the Kubernetes context against which the tilt uh, is allowed to run. Yep, our workload is being deployed. Let's wait uh, for it to complete and we'll get a status here as live update started once the live update is ready. So the live update status uh, here is resolved to live update started. Uh, so we should now be able to test our application. Since uh, we have port forwarded the workload Knative service URL here, let's go to the browser and test our application on localhost 8080. Yes, we are able to connect. Now, as a developer, let's see how easy it is to go and make code changes and uh, use the Tanzu live update feature. For this, I'll jump back to the code and maybe go to one of the file here and make a small update here, which returns the text to update it. So once I click save, the changes will be picked up immediately. You can see that the container is being updated and the application is started. That you can see the logs are being streamed here and we are ready let's go back to the browser and refresh it and see if our change is yes our chain is picked up here we have to update updated here and we can see the change here so you can see how easy it is as a developer to code deploy and de debug test using tap and tanzu extension it enables the application teams to get to production faster so uh, this is a short demo on the developer experience with Tanzu. Thank you.